Oh my god, look at this. Zhuzh up them crocs, bro. LOL. Love the videos. David Demanchek. <laughs> the only decision you'll have to make is what color should I get? Oh my god, it's headlights for your shoes. Are you kidding me, David? Taking the dog out at night is never gonna be more fun. <laughs> Look, they got different modes. For like night running. I'm not a young kid in my 20s anymore. This is something that excites me, so I am clearly on the way to 40, so. If you see me in Chicago with my light up Crocs, make sure you say hi. I've got a feather on my arm And every type of bad weather I got two pairs of shoes to return to Amazon. I'm gonna drop these off at UPS. I got so many brown wedding shoes. Finally found the ones I want. What's really great about it is you can do like the try on thing where they just send you a bunch of shoes, they don't charge you, and then you just send them right back if you don't want them. I'm so excited to show you guys my like wedding suit and shoes and Montana and everything. We leave in three days and I'm gonna be in Montana for 12 days. The wedding and hiking and all the, and everything. You know, I, the irony, I think irony is the right word seeing as I've been a cinematographer and a videographer for so long now. Define irony. I can't afford a wedding videographer. Like we literally crunched the budget in the beginning to come up with everything. And the video thing, you know, I'm not huge on wedding videos. It's not my style, but I can't shoot and edit my own wedding video. You know, I'm in, the, I'm kind of a big player. <laughs> You're a mess. I'm a mess. Come on. But then I looked at Allie and I was like, well, what if I do edit it? What if I shoot the week and everything we do after and kind of make a really fun super vlog of our time? We'll always have that. It'll live on YouTube forever. And if YouTube shuts down, I'll have the master file because I control the keys to my own life, you know? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to save money rather than spending four or $5,000 on some videographer in Montana that I've never met that I don't really even want their style because they're going to do the cheesy music and the close-up of the dress on the tree we're, we're over the dress on the tree that's creepy so there's gonna be some of my cameras strewn about the wedding and I'm gonna get a bunch of footage on those from friends and then I'm gonna do the edits and you guys are gonna have a bunch of content and you're gonna feel like you were there and it's gonna be exactly what I want Drop those off, got a package. I love when you guys send me stuff. Oh my God, yes! I love the color too. Two of them! That's a damn nice oven mitt right there. <laughs> It oddly matches the shirt. Hey Sean, saw you suffering without proper oven mitts in your cheesy mustard onion bread video. <laughs> I tried to find as close to Spartan green as I could. Enjoy from Chris C right there. Oh my God, Chris, this is perfect. Perfect. Ooh, dinner time. Oh. For whatever reason, I've put off getting good oven mitts for so long. We're taken care of. Perfect timing. Let's snag our Indian food. Butter chicken! And never ever fly away, not for long. Parked so illegally. Got the Blue Angels or whatever they're called going. It's what a Saturday in Chicago. Hi. Just, yeah, just a pickup for Sean. Yep, that's me. Thank you so much, man. Have a good one. It's 
much as I want to wait. <laughs> it's really cool seeing those things zip around. As much as I want to wait to eat this at home, um, I'm gonna need a bite. And before we eat, we have to put our hands together for the person buying this meal here today, the legend, Miss Nancy Remley. She sent me $50. She's just been like peppering the vlog with donations. She's been incredible and I just love her. I've been talking to her via email, learning about her love story with her husband, them getting married young. I mean, just a great person. Garlic naan bread, a whole bunch of basmati rice, butter chicken, more basmati rice. Look at this garlic naan. There's two pieces. It's so thin and crispy. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. You can see the garlic cloves on it. Come on, dude. Oh my God. All right, let's put that away. Let's go eat at home and relax on the weekend. That is without a, oh my God, it's still, that is without a doubt some of the best naan I've ever had. I feel like I always get regular naan. I should be getting garlic naan, obviously. What's wrong with me? Back home in the comfort zone. I cannot tell you the last time that I ordered butter chicken for myself. I love it so much and I just have not had it in so long. I'm so excited. Get some basmati up in here. Steaming. Indian restaurants always do such a good job with packaging, I feel like. Now for the fun part. This chicken is gorgeous. Big, huge, dark meat chunks, if you will. This garlic naan is insane. I made Allie like a little plate here, look at this. Little Saturday butter chicken to make everything right. Nancy, this is for you. It looks delightful. And it is. I had not had Indian food until I was like in my mid 20s. And I remember being like visually and verbally and physically upset that no one turned me on to it earlier. The basic ass palates of the people around me growing up. <laughs> Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. The flavor is so rich. That tomato sauce and basmati rice with it, it's the perfect combination. It's truly something special. And as you can assume, you make like a little mini roll up taco. If you're not doing this, you're missing out. Indian flavor, it's like they found a cheat code with, with spices. Like, they put on a Game Genie on the Toe Jam and Earl, and they had unlimited high tops. And I'm gonna be real with you. If you get that reference, we would be great friends. We'd sit around and eat Indian food and play Toe Jam and Earl for Sega Genesis. Nancy Remling, don't tell my fiance, but I think I'm in love with you. Do you guys have a favorite Indian food order? Butter chicken's kind of a staple. I think about too how on days like today, I wouldn't have like stopped and taken a moment and had a good meal. I would have just like eaten on the go, go, go. This vlog allows me to eat foods that I don't splurge on and get for myself. So I appreciate you guys allowing me to just kind of hang out today, enjoy this, and I, as I take you on my errands and things. I took Allie's 45 minute strength and flow class today, I got my ass kicked, but then afterwards we practiced our little wedding dance we're doing. The studio is so perfect for that after. So definitely worked up an appetite today. Doesn't that bite just look good? Indian food would have scared the crap out of me growing up. Such a little basic bitch eater. <laughs> Roll them up. What a beautiful day in Chicago. Mm. I think next time I go here, I'm gonna get like triple the amount of bread. It's like four bucks for two of those slices. I think adding an $8 order <laughs> is worth it. This is delicious. I'm gonna finish this. We're gonna move on with the day. Keep the vlog rolling. There can only be one. Nancy Remley.
got my sunglasses walking off the butter chicken. Hey Lionel. Lionel. It's many hours later and it's dinner time, so I'm gonna do this sliced grass-fed beef sirloin from Costco. This was $23.21. Two pounds of sirloin. This is already fully cooked. I just saw this in Costco the last few times and I was really interested in trying it. And I'm gonna keep carbs low tonight because I had so much rice. We're just gonna do steak and eggs, but here's, <laughs> here's our kind of sous vide <laughs> packaging here, yum. What an absolutely wacky dinner here. <laughs> From a previous video, something my dad always had in the house, A1. You know what, we're not bastardizing steak, we're buying it pre-cooked and pre-sliced. It's already been bastardized. Also, this expires in four days, so I feel better about this. We're getting, we're getting rid of it. A little apple juice. <laughs> Let's try this steak. I got some Flat Iron Pepper Company on there. I've got some freshly cracked black pepper, salt. I'm gonna try this as is, and then we'll do some eggs with it too. That steak, is it super tender? No, it's sliced like Euro meat. But the way it's prepared, I mean, it was ready in two minutes. Let's do a little bit of this over easy egg I made. Some yolky egg. Did you have a good walk earlier? Let's try it like this. Oh my God, so much better with eggs. As I've gotten older and I go to diners in random cities, I'll get steak and eggs now, but I don't want to just like bombard myself with greasy carbs, like hash browns. <laughs> the creaminess of that yolk and the flavor of that mixing with how salty the meat is is really nice. Bet you guys didn't think you were gonna get two food features in one video, huh? I know people have very polarizing thoughts about A1. I had it for the first time on that one video I did. In a long time, I had it as a kid. And I was like, you know what? It's really not that bad. Some drippy drip. Fantastic. I'm gonna finish this, do the dishes, and hang out. Did a bunch of stuff off camera today for the wedding and things like that that would have been really boring for you guys to see and for me to film. But as always, I appreciate you being here. That Indian food earlier trounces this. <laughs> I love how much A1 pisses people off. It makes me want to use it more. If I was using it on a filet mignon, you have every right to yell at me in the comments. Mm. Kraft Heinz owns this too. They own everything. One thing I really loved about this steak package, it came in two one pound increments. So like you don't have to open all of it. I just did half and gave the other half to Allie. Score the steak out of 10. <laughs> Four. The butter chicken earlier and now some Costco steak up. The butter chicken earlier and some Costco steak <laughs> down. Be good to each other. And you know what? Maybe just get a regular steak. But you gotta love the ease. I would be waiting for 